Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I share with you easy to understand steps to solve different types of problems. So in this video, we'll go over a problem that uses the concepts of Venn diagram. So let's get started. So as per this problem, a survey was conducted for 270 uh, professional athletes and it was found that 125 of them owned convertible, 106 of them owned a giant TV screen, uh, screen TV and 106 owned a sporting goods store. Now 17 owned convertible and store, so 17 owned both of these things. Now 39 owned TV and store and 59 owned convertible and a TV. And nine of them owned all three items. So I have already drawn the circles, uh, the three circles to get uh, go through the steps faster. So the first thing we'll do is label each of these circles. So the first circle on the left side represents the, um, the convertible, I wrote the short form CONV. The second circle on the right side is the TV circle, and the bottom circle is for the uh, people who own or the athletes who own the goods store. Now, the first thing we'll do is to analyze what these three circles represent by placing them with a slight overlap. Now, the, this middle part here which is the overlap of all three circles represents the space or the number of athletes who own the convertible TV and the sporting goods store. And in this case, we are given that nine own all three items. So we'll write nine in that overlapping space. So this shows that nine people own the convertible TV and the sporting goods store. Now, we are also given that 59 owned a convertible and TV. So that means this overlap between convertible and TV represents 59 athletes. Now here it doesn't say that 59 owned convertible and TV only. It just says that 59 athletes owned a convertible and TV. So since it's 59 uh, is the number for uh, the athletes who own convertible and TV and not convertible and TV only, we'll have to do a small calculation here. So we'll have to do 59 minus 9 to calculate the number of athletes who own only convertible and TV. So we did 59 minus 9, which is 50. So we place this 50 here because it's 50 athletes who own only convertible and TV. So there's a very important distinction you have to understand and memorize. If the problem had stated 59 owned convertible and TV only, then we would have placed 59 in this space because this represents the number of athletes that own the convertible and TV only. But since that word only hasn't been used here, so we'll have to do this calculation to calculate the number of athletes who own only convertible and TV. Now we'll do the same calculation for the other two overlaps. Now as per the problem, 39 athletes owned a TV and store. So that's this part of the diagram. So for this part, we'll have to do the calculation, 39 minus 9, which is equal to 30. So 30 athletes own only TV and store. So again, the same thing, the problem doesn't state that 39 athletes own the TV and store only. So this 39 also includes those nine people that include that have all three items. Now the same concept can be applied 
uh, for the overlap for the convertible and store. So 17 athletes owned a convertible and store. So, but it's not that only 17, 17 owned only a convertible and store. So we'll have to do the same step here. So for this part, we'll do 17 minus 9, which is equal to 8. So that means 8 athletes own a convertible and a store only. Now we'll have to find out how many athletes own convertible only to fill a number in this part of the diagram. So for that, we'll have to use the number given for the number of athletes who owned a convertible. Now again, it doesn't say that 125 of the athletes owned a convertible only. So as a result, we'll have to do a calculation. So we'll do 125 minus 50 minus 9 minus 8. Why? Because in order to find the number for this part of the circle, we'll have to subtract the numbers written on these part of the circles because 125 represents the number for the whole convertible circle. So we can do this calculation in our calculator. So I get 58. So 58 athletes owned convertible only, only one item. So we'll have to do the same calculation for the other two items. So how many people owned TV only? So we are given that one of uh, 106 athletes owned a giant screen TV. So we'll do 106 minus the numbers from the other parts of the TV circle. So 50 minus 9 minus 30 which is equal to 17. So 17 athletes owned the TV only. So this is a very important step you have to understand and memorize and now we can do the calculation for the store. So as per the problem, 106 athletes owned the sporting goods store. So 106 is the number that represents the whole circle for store. So we have to do the subtraction to find how many athletes own the store only. So we'll do 8 minus 9 minus 30, which is equal to 10. So I got 59. So that means 59 athletes own the store only. So once we fill in the Venn diagram like this, then it will become easy to answer the other the questions. So let's start with part A. So in part A, it's asking for how many athletes did not own any of the three items. So that means we have to find out of those 247 athletes that were surveyed, how many are not represented by any part of this Venn diagram or that are outside the three circles. So for that, the first step is to calculate the uh, sum of all the numbers that we see in different parts of this Venn diagram. So our first step is to add these numbers. So we do 58 plus 50 plus 17 plus 8 plus 9 plus 30 plus 59. So we can add these numbers, so 58 plus 50 plus 17 plus 8 plus 9 plus 30 plus 59. So I got 231. So that means out of those 247 athletes that were surveyed, 231 owned one, two or three of these items. So how many athletes did not own any of the three items? 
So for that we'll do 247 minus 231 which is equal to 16. So this should be the final answer for part A. So if we want to write a concluding statement for this, so we can write 16 professional athletes did not own any of the three items. So this is a very important step we have to understand and memorize. So once we know the sum total of all the numbers in the one diagram, then it's just a matter of adding them up and then subtracting the sum from the number of athletes surveyed. So now we can answer part B. So in part B, we have to find out how many athletes owned a convertible and a TV, but not a store. So in this case, we have to find the overlap between the convertible and TV circles, but not a store. So, but not this third circle. So the overlap between the convertible and the TV circle only is this part, which has the number 50. So I'll highlight it. So this one, this blue part that I'm highlighting. So for this, since we've already done the calculation, so we can just write a concluding statement or just a statement to answer the question. So here we can write, so 50 professional athletes owned a convertible and a TV, but not a store. So these are the steps you have to keep in mind to solve this type of problem. So first we have to draw a Venn diagram and then fill in the numbers in different parts of the Venn diagram to and find out uh, how many of the athletes uh, have these uh, different number of items and then use those numbers to answer the questions. So I hope you'll find this video useful. If you do, please share it, like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.